recognize is the gentleman from Nebraska, Mr. Bacon, for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in strong opposition to the Build Back Better Act. President Biden, Leader Schumer, Speaker Pelosi, and Chairman Bernie Sanders have made it clear they want to transform America. In fact, those are their words. They want to transform America using reconciliation, the so-called Build Back Better Act. They're trying to do this with a 50-50 Senate, a three-seat majority in the House out of 435 members, and a president that won by just two states. Last November, the country did not vote for transformation, but for middle-of-the-road centrist policies and steady leadership. But that is not what they got, and voters are mad. Just look at the polling. The president sits at 38% favorable rating. The generic ballot for the, for the House favors Republicans by 11 points, the biggest margin seen in the history of this polling. If there's any doubt, just review the recent results in Virginia where a Republican was elected, and in New Jersey where a Democrat squeaked by in his reelection. A 12-point swing in Virginia and a 14-point swing in New Jersey in just one year. Our nation does not desire to be a giant welfare state with cradle-to-grave government oversight controlling our lives. Last year, the country didn't vote to give amnesty and government payouts for adults who illegally cross our borders and jumped to the front of the line of those trying to come here through legal channels. The country did not vote to hire 87,000 more, more IRS agents for auditing everyday Americans to raise $400 billion to pay for the reckless spending spree. We need IRS agents to provide customer service to those still waiting for their tax refunds, sometimes a year late, but not for more audits. Americans didn't vote to raise taxes on a third of the middle class, which is what the left-leaning tax policy center stated as the case. What also found that two-thirds of millionaires will now get a tax break at the same time because of the changes made to the SALT deductions in this bad bill. Americans didn't vote to remove the Hyde Amendment that prevented our tax dollars from paying for abortions. They did not vote to remove work requirements for able-bodied adults to receive welfare benefits. Americans did not vote to impede and ban domestic energy and mineral production or to increase our reliance on China and OPEC. Our citizens did not vote to raise taxes on natural gas that Americans used to heat their homes. We did not vote to undermine our research and discovery of new drugs that can save people's lives. Finally, Americans did not vote to give people earning up to $500,000 tax breaks for buying electrical vehicles. The authors of this legislation have either misjudged or ignored where the country is at on these issues. This legislation is a total transformation, just what the president is saying, but it's a giant welfare state transformation. And for these reasons and many more, I will be voting no on the Build Back Better Act, and I urge my colleagues to do the same. I pray that moderate Democrats will say no. And like many Americans, I am grateful that Senators Manchin and Cinema have been voices of reason and common sense. We need more of their voices. With that, Mr. Speaker, I yield back the balance of my time.